strange to think that in the first decade of the 21st century, I would be heading to the Peruvian jungle in search of a connection to the primal consciousness that indigenous wisdom revealed. Yet, in a world of global warming and environmental collapse, it seemed all the more urgent to reconnect with the planet in a visceral way. Nowadays, we're all part of the story, and getting down and dirty in the far crevices of consciousness was a prospect I was relishing. But what was the business of spirituality doing to all these backpacking ayahuasca seekers that dared to journey into the mysteries of creation? And what did it say about the growing Western need for an authentic reconnection to the planet? Ayahuasca was a mystery to me, and I got the feeling that many of the ayahuasca seekers were in the same boat. We were all chasing the root of the vine, eager for the secrets she might provide, but like children in the ways of the spirit. The Ayahuasca Network appears to cut across race, social class and gender, a secret society of plant worshippers, all united by the common experience of this potent hallucinogenic. And through them, the Ayahuasca Vine was spreading her tendrils across the world, and a genuine archaic revival was underway. My bags were packed, the jungle beckoned, and the ancient mystery of the rainforest awaited. I wanted in on it. Las alas pasan a la ayahuasca.